there's a lot of different devices out there that have been shown to work for acne. So what's happened is we've seen a lot of different devices um, over the last five to ten years come out that have been able to help acne in some way and they approach it slightly differently. Uh, the trend has been for smaller and smaller units and what Radiancy has been able to come up with is a device that's actually going to be able to be used safely by consumers themselves um, to treat their acne. Obviously a patient can't take a laser home with them so what we're trying to do is get these devices smaller and smaller, keep them effective, make them even safer and allow the patients to treat themselves at home. And I think that's what we're going to see in the future as time goes on. A lot of the things that we're treating right now with large expensive lasers are going to be treated with smaller, less expensive, more portable devices that hopefully people can be taught to use themselves. Um, so it's going to be a very interesting time in the next five to ten years to see where this develops. Pretty much all dermatologists are treating acne, uh, mostly with prescriptions. Um, a handful of dermatologists uh, and other physicians are now treating acne with the lasers and light sources. Um, I think with these home units, one of the things it will offer are for physicians and dermatologists who treat acne but don't necessarily have $100,000 lasers to actually be able to prescribe for their patients a light-based device. It sort of gives them one more tool to attack acne with um, because acne sometimes for some patients will respond to one thing, other patients it will respond to something completely different. So it's just another approach to attack acne. I think most physicians right now when we treat acne approach it uh, from different angles all at the same time. My personal approach is really to attack it from as many angles as I can at first to clear the acne and then go ahead and start removing things that may not be necessary. And what this device will do is allow one more approach from a different angle at the acne to try and attack it and get rid of it and then start pulling other things off. Um, a lot of patients don't like to be on antibiotics for a long period of time. Um, there are different associated problems with the antibiotics. There's also problems that some patients have even with topicals just being too irritating for their skin. So this device may allow us to pull some of those other more irritating and problematic treatments off the patients. A lot of practices don't have these $100,000 lasers in the office to, to use and so what this home device will do is actually allow those practices in particular to be able to prescribe light-based therapy to give another prong in the attack against acne. There's certainly a convenience also for our patients to have a device where they can use at home so they don't have to make that monthly trip into the physician's office uh, and sit in a waiting room for 10 minutes to sometimes an hour uh, to be treated. Um, so I think they're going to appreciate that. I mean, our whole goal as physicians is to, to help people. And when we're talking about acne, this can be a real so psychosocial problem for the adolescents and even adults with acne. So we really want these patients to clear and I think what this device is going to do is give us one more way to, to help them and it may be the one thing that actually really breaks that certain particular patient through and, and clears their acne. It, you know, it's interesting if we look at computers uh, as a model over the years, you know, at first in the 60s there were these huge computers that did very little by today's standards and every few years they got smaller more efficient, more effective, and it just kept happening and kept marching on. If we look at lasers, it's very similar. Back in the late 70s, early 80s, we had these gigantic lasers that by today's standards did very little. But as time went on, they got smaller, they got more effective, they got safer. And what we've seen Radiancy do is actually sort of push that ahead even more um, towards the home usage front, which I think is sort of the, the next frontier and Radiancy has been very innovative and ahead of the curve on this and I applaud them for that.